Hi, my name is Jeff Solheim, President of Solheim Enterprises, and welcome to our series on helping you prepare for certification exams. This particular module that you're watching is entitled Things Not to Expect. So as you think about uh, taking a certification exam, what I wanna do today is talk about things that you probably won't see on your certification exam so that you don't have to waste any time preparing for things you don't need to. The first thing that you will not expect to see on exam is the signs. There's lots of signs out there. You've heard of them, Murphy sign, Kerr sign, um, Battle sign. You've heard of all these signs. Now, does that mean that you shouldn't study the signs in preparation for the exam? No, I'm not saying that. You should still understand the signs because you may see questions about the signs, but you won't have to recognize them. So for example, you might get a question about a woman experiencing right shoulder pain and you have to recognize that she's a ruptured ectopic. So in that way, you have to understand Kerr's sign. That blood under the diaphragm can cause shoulder pain on the same side, which is Kerr's sign but you wouldn't actually be tested on the name Kerr's sign. Now, some good news, and this one almost probably deserves a round of applause, but what you won't find on the exam anymore are nursing diagnoses. Darn, I know you're as disappointed as I am that they won't be there, right? Not. However, um, we, you know, nursing diagnoses are not considered useful in the emergency medicine realm and emergency nursing realm. So therefore, we don't put them on the exam anymore. Another thing you won't find on the exam is a lot of extraneous information. In fact, the authors of the question are given very clear directions that you can only put on an exam what's absolutely necessary. That you don't put anything un unnecessary in the question because that clutters it. You may actually be surprised at how short the majority of the questions are. Other things not to expect on the exam, all of the above, none of the above, you'll never find those partly because these answers are randomized every time the test is taken they randomize the four choices so that it can't be replicated by other people but that means that you can't have all of the above or none of the above because those might end up as a higher answer when we randomize the questions so you'll never see all of the above you'll never see none of the above the other thing you won't see is multiple multiple choice now on the screen you should see an example of what a multiple multiple choice question looks like um, you can see their symptoms consistent with endocarditis include one osler's nodes b or two coplic spots three Janeway lesions and four subconjunctival hemorrhages. And then of course under that, you're gonna see that you have different combinations of those four choices. You will not find questions like that. The questions on the BCN exams will be very simple question with four choices, A, B, C, or D. One of those four will be correct and they'll never include none of the above or all of the above. Well, I hope you found this information useful on what not to expect for the exam so you don't study unnecessarily. Watch the rest of our series for a lot of other hints and tips for successfully navigating your certification exam. Good luck.